Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today we're going to talk about how to run a streamlit application on Google Colab with PyNGrok. There are a lot of solutions already available like local uh, tunnel, just simply using NGrok or remote, okay. But sometimes these solutions fail, so it's always good to have an alternative solution. First, I'm going to show you that the solution actually works. Then I'm going to show you how to do that. As you can see, my URL is NGrok URL and you can see the application. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my collab code and then I'm going to make a change to my application. For example, I'm going to say, hello world from one little coder, please subscribe. Okay, so after I do this, I'm going to write execute this code. So you can see that this is overwriting my application. Next, I'm going to go back to my app, app called Streamlit application, which is actually currently served from ngrok URL, you can see. And it says the source file has changed. So do you want to rerun it? I'm going to select rerun and after that you can see hello world from one little coder please subscribe so this is uh, just to show you that this actually works um, like i said all these solutions tunneling solutions work sometimes do not work sometimes so it's always good to have some options now that we know that successfully we have managed to run streamlit from google collab using pi and grog i would like to take you through the code about dependencies and what all things that we want to do so this Google Collab notebook will be shared in the YouTube description. So please check it out. The first thing is you need to install Streamlit library. I'm installing Streamlit in a quiet mode. So Streamlit is first mandatory. After you install Streamlit, for you to run Streamlit code, the way you run Streamlit code is you would run Streamlit run space app.py, app.py file. So which means you have to write the app.py file somewhere. So we are going to use the magic command here that says write file space app.py which means anything that is within this content like within this cell would be written inside this file and you can see that as well like if you go here you can actually see that as well so we are going to say import streamlit as st um, i mean you can write whatever you want run streamlit on collab with py and grok this is all fine okay um, now the next thing is um, after you have this thing so now at this point you would have created a file app.py so everything that you have to do from the streamlit perspective is completed at this point so the next thing that you need to do is you need to install the library called py ngrok so now py ngrok is not any special library rather it is a python wrapper on like over ngrok so to make it easier for you to use ngrok from python so this wrapper has been created so py ngrok is nothing nothing fancy um, i mean like kudos to the developer i'm not diminishing the work but i just wanted to say that it's not anything radically different so now you're going to install py and grok after you install py and grok now you have to sell you have to import um from ngrok py and grok you have to import ngrok and the next step is you have to set the authentication token so if you see any other past tutorials like uh, at least two years old you would have seen ngrok would give you temporary url without setting up the authentication token but it doesn't happen anymore so you need to set authentication token if you want to use ngrok today even for the free account so now how do you get authentication token for example never share the authentication token like you see here i'm going to revoke the token after this call so how do you get authentication token it's quite simple you have to go register on the ngrok website ngrok.com after you register when you click setup and installation you would get the authentication token or you can go to your auth and then you can copy your authentication token if ever you want to restart or uh, revoke like for example my, me after this um, video i would um, ultimately revoke this authentication token because people have seen this authentication token i don't want them to use it anymore i can come here and then click reset authentication token and then it'll be reset so how do you get authentication token go to ngrok.com and then register yourself with your email id gmail id whatever id then when you go to the sidebar either click setup and installation or click your auth token and then you would get the authentication token which you can copy from here now coming back to collab then you can say ngrok dot set underscore auth underscore token and then put the authentication token inside at this point your ngrok is set up your ngrok on google collab is linked with your ngrok account okay so the next step is how do we make sure that we run streamlit application in such a way that it gets connected to the ngrok portal that's what we want to do so what are we doing we're using no hub like which means like uh, this is going to run in the background uh, streamlit run app.py so one thing is you can actually select any port in which you want to run so i have selected um, this dash dash are like arguments streamlit arguments so I've selected server.port and I want this streamlit application. 
I want this app.py to run on streamlit on port 80 and after you do this now you have to create ngrok tunnel so what you are doing is at this point you imagine like you've got the local host url now you are using ngrok to connect this port with the external world this is called tunneling so at this point you're going to tunnel on the same port 80 with this url and then you are printing the url and you got the url and once you click the url for example right click it open it you can see that it is going to load streamlit for you to use hello world from one little coder please subscribe blah 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 one advantage you have in this approach is in many other approaches you would see this cell actually running which means you cannot change the code but in this approach you can actually change the code for example like i said i can come back here and then i can i can actually you know write st dot write and then add a couple of uh, let's say um something like uh, this is an amazing tutorial um i love this channel something like this okay this is my self advertisement so after i do this thing i have to rerun it after i do that i can go back here and then you can see that it says the source file is changed now at this point i'm going to click rerun and then you can see this is an amazing tutorial i love this channel so basically we have successfully managed to write um run streamlit application from google collab using pi and grok um, but like i said we don't know when this is going to get disabled google collab sometimes you know they don't like uh, tunneling and ssh all these things so the next thing is now if you run one thing if you want to run it again it's going to throw you an error because at the same time you cannot run two applications um, for example let me show you the error like for example if i try to run this again um it's it's currently in this portal but uh for example let, let me let me get it like i'm going to try to run it in a different portal it would ideally show me an error so 8080 oh it it works uh that's weird um ideally it should show an error so just wanted to tell you that if you get an error that you know you are running more than one instance which is not permissible in your plan now what you have to do is you have to use this option um from pi and grog import in grog and ingrog.get tunnels and then you can see what are all the tunnels that are active in your particular account this particular session so a couple of options for example you can restart the runtime um, or disconnect and uh, restart the runtime of your google collab that should ideally get you new google collab machine which means you have got new ip you can do that so that's one way the second way is you can use ingrog.kill to kill all these tunnels that is another option the third option is you can actually go to the ingrog um, website and then you can you can see like where is your current um, like where is your current situation like for example let's say we are going to click endpoints you can see you have all these endpoints so now you can you can see like all the endpoints that are available at this point and um, i think there is a way you can disable it let me quickly check um if there is not a way yeah so you can stop it so when you stop it you can uh okay so i think uh, in a free account it doesn't let you stop it but um, um, you like if you have a paid account then you can actually stop st stop it restart it or update it like based on your instance so this is another way for you to kill your processes like uh, like i said the first way restart your collab second way restart in the sense not just simple restart like um, factory reset um, or completely reset and disconnect the second is use gate tunnels to get all the tunnels and kill them um, kill the kill 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 the processes Another third option is um, you go uh, to the portal and uh, you try to stop here, which didn't work in this case because I have a free um, account. But if you have a paid account, it should ideally work. And um, if in case it doesn't work, I would recommend you. I have got two more tutorials. One is using local tunnel. The other one is using uh, the other one is using remote OK. The other one is using actually in um, in Grok itself, not using Py in Grok wrapper. You can definitely check it out. So to quickly summarize what we did in this video, we first installed Streamlit package, then we wrote a Streamlit code, and then we write, wrote that Streamlit code inside this file app.py. Then we installed py ngrok, then we made sure that we have ngrok authentication token. We copied the ngrok authentication token from ngrok portal and then added it here. The next thing is we ran Streamlit application in the port 80 the background uh, and then we connected that port with uh, ngrok um, we basically did tunneling and then that tunnel url ultimately gives us what we want which is to run a streamlit application as you can see and uh, like i said if you want while your streamlit application is running if you want to make any changes go back to the code where you are running streamlit application um for example i can say st.markdown um 
don't forget to subscribe okay and i can uh, i can actually run it when i run it it is going to over right here and after that when i go back here it is going to tell me that the source has changed rerun it and you get the message so that's it um if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise happy coding peace